The dissident faction of the ruling CPNUML has sent out a strong warning to the leadership faction of the party, saying that they would not buckle down under any pressure created by the Prime Minister. The Nepal faction has expedited formation of parallel party committees as the inter-party friction with Oli-led faction continues to escalate, raising speculations of imminent split. Good morning, I am Vipashna Tumang and these are the headlines of the hour. Madhav Kumar Nepal faction of CPNUML responds to parties' demand for clarifications. Says the faction won't bow down to only factions' high handmakers. Prime Minister KP Sharma Oli continues to receive flak. Lawmakers criticize the Premier for rendering the House of Representatives ineffective. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu claims a huge win in Israel's fourth election in two years, even as exit polls suggest he may fail to secure a majority. And India smashed a 66 runs victory over England in the first one day to take a 1 0 lead in the three match series. The dissident faction of CPN UML, including senior leader Madhav Kumar Nepal, have said they are undeterred by the party's demand for clarification and warned they will continue to pile pressure to remove Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli from the party instead. Addressing the gathering of the party's student wing, All Nepal Free Students Union, ANNFSU, Nepal said his faction will not bow down to Premier Oli's strategies and would continue to challenge his modest operandi. Nepal also said it was not a big challenge to face Premier Oli and that his faction would save the ruling party from a split. Nepal also warned the faction will take it to the streets soon if needed. Another leader, Pim Rawal, said the Oli-led faction needed to provide clarification instead for carrying out activities against the constitution and the interest of the general public. The CPNUML faction, led by Madhav Kumar Nepal, has expedited formation of parallel party committees as the inter-party friction with Oli-led faction continues to escalate. Analysts have viewed the faction's activity as a way to strengthen its bargaining agenda against Premier Oli. We have more in this report. On Tuesday, the intra-party faction of CPNUML, led by senior leader Madhav Kumar Nepal, organized a gathering of the party's student wing, All Nepal National Free Students Union, and formed a parallel committee challenging the incumbent student wing. The other faction, led by Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli, had revived the wing last December as polarization began in the then Nepal Communist Party. It may be recalled the Nepal faction had formed a parallel committee in the party's youth wing under the coordination of Naresh Kumar Shahi last Saturday. The faction also reshuffled several positions in Central Department of the Youth Wing, Zonal and District Committees to form new committees. Likewise, on 19th of March, the Nepal faction called for a gathering of the All Nepal Women's Association and formed a 475-member central committee under the leadership of Jayanti Rai. Samanantar committee banda pane party lai ekata vada garne udeshya ka saath gariye ka pal Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli, who had fallen in minority following the dissolution of the House of Representatives, gained strength within the party after the Epic Court scrapped the unification of the then CPN UML and CPN Mao Center. The faction has been piling pressure on the Nepal faction to bend them to their ways in recent time. Party Vitra, Rahera, Shanghai, Rahera, Kam Gurney, Vandapani, Aba Anya Dangale, Anya Samanantar Gatibidi, or Samanantar Committee, or Nirman Gurney, Prosheshma Agadi Borevane. हामी कसैले त्यो अरु प्रोसेस अगाडि बढ्नै पर्दैन किनभने मुलुकमा संविधान छ कानून छ पार्टीका विधानहरु छन् त्यो अनुसार भइजाने कुरा हो त्यसैले यस्तो स्थिति नआओस् भन्ने कुरामा हामी सचेत पनि छौ र पार्टी अध्यक्ष केपी शर्मा ओली पनि सचेतै हुनुहुन्छ मीनवाइल द नेपाल फ्याक्सन सीम्स डिटरमिन्ड टु च्यालेन्ज द ओली लेड फ्याक्सन पोलिटिकल एनालिस्ट हैव सेड गिवन द करेन्ट डायनामिक्स बिटवीन द लीडर्स देयर आर हाई चान्सेस द रूलिंग पार्टी विल स्प्लिट इन द डेज टु कम Parliamentarians have sternly criticized the government for rendering the House of Representatives ineffective and without a business. 
Speaking at the zero hour of the session yesterday, majority of the lawmakers who addressed the session said that Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli was bent on proving that the lower house resolution in December three months ago was appropriate. They further said the government had intentionally left the parliament jobless. Meanwhile, lawmakers from the CPN UML faction led by Prime Minister and Party Chairman K.P. Sharma Oli defended the government, raising questions on the dissident lawmakers' demand for resignation from the Premier while still continuing to support the government. The next session is scheduled for 31st of March next week. The National Planning Commission has recommended the government set the budget for the upcoming fiscal year at 150 billion rupees, just 5% higher than the budget of the ongoing fiscal year. The Commission has urged all ministries except those concerning development works to reduce budget considering the overburdened state coffers. We have more in this report. The government had allocated 37 billion rupees for the Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock Development in the current fiscal year. The ministry had prepared to intensify their programs and propose for a larger budget in the upcoming year. However, the National Planning Commission has reduced its budget to 32 billion rupees. This has compelled the ministry to withdraw programs planned for the current fiscal year. The same cuts have been seen in Ministry of Agriculture, Land Management and Cooperatives. The budget ceiling for the next fiscal has been reduced to 7.12 billion rupees from 8.12 billion rupees. Oil, amro to district testo kisim ko sirsat wise banne kuro, atho yo ma yo ma banne kuro. Onda ina samagra ma amro salu tarfa 10 percent, rab puzi ko tarfa 35 percent gote ko amile praram bik testo amile isab garda tiyo paaka sa. Meanwhile, development budget will see some increment next fiscal year. Annual budget of 148 billion rupees has been allocated for Ministry of Physical Infrastructure and Transport. The ministry, meanwhile, has said the allocated amount would be inadequate, citing most priority projects fell in its jurisdiction. The budget for Ministry of Energy, Water Resources and Irrigation has been raised by 13%. Following the Commission's recommendation, the Ministry of Finance summoned secretaries of all ministries to suggest for a lower budget proposal. Meanwhile, the government has yet to cut down on its regular expenses despite the growing pressure on state coffers. The ruling CPN UML has continued to make political appointments to ministries and authorities that has further burdened the state. In our Public Voice segment, we had asked locals in Kailali what is the reason behind political instability. Let's take a look at what they had to say. Public Voice <laughs> जनता प्रति त्यति माया नभएको कारणले कुर्सीका लागि लड्ने म म त एकै पार्टी भित्र पाँच वटा दल बन्दिने पाँच वटा गुट बन्दिने गुटै नहुनु पर्ने हो के सबैले हामी देश विकास गर्नु पर्छ भन्ने भावना राख्ने हो भने देखि राजनीतिकमा अस्थिरता आउँदैन थियो टाइम नाउ फर सेगमेन्ट पब्लिक पल्स वे टेक्स्ट अस विथ योर ओपिनियन Public poll. And here's the question Why has the government not prepared testing infrastructures for the new variant of coronavirus? The options are option A, expensive technology, option B, not in priority, and option C, trend of upgrading in hindsight. The voting is on type any WS. Select your option A, B, or C and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. And that's all for the moment. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.